Assalamualaikum and good day to all. We are from group 4. Today we would like to discuss the reaction pathways in the production of propylene. Production of propylene from butane involve a uh, two steps reaction which are dehydrogenation and metathesis. Dehydrogenation is the removal of hydrogen from an alkene to form an alkene. It is the reverse of hydrogenation process. Therefore, in this reaction, the removal of hydrogen from butane results in the formation of butylene. Dehydrogenation occurs at atmospheric pressure and high temperature, around 500 uh, degrees Celsius, with the help of catalyst. The catalyst may be vary. We can use nickel, platinum, palladium, ferrum, zinc oxide, uh, and many more. There are many dehydrogenation technologies available in the industry, such as uh, ketophene, uh, oliplex, tesincraft, and several technology. After the dehydrogenation process, butylene will undergo cross-metathesis with ethylene. Metathesis reactions are chemical reactions in which uh, two hydrocarbons are converted to uh, two new hydrocarbons by the exchange of carbon-carbon single, double or triple bonds. In this butylene and ethylene uh, cross-metathesis, the double bond of butylene and ethylene will break, cross and rejoin to form uh, two moles of propylene. This is the olefin conversion technology or OCT. It is one of the targeted propylene production technologies that has uh, emerged with the aim of saving energy and minimizing uh, investment costs. Olefin conversion technology or OCT has been uh, applied by many companies in the industry such as uh, BASF, Mitsui Chemicals and Toyo. Okay, so we proceed with uh, production of propylene from steam cracker. Uh, this is overall steam overall schematic of steam cracker process. So moving on to the process description, uh, a steam cracking is a pyrolysis process. The process is a high temperature turmeric forming process by using ethane, propane, and liquid naphtha. A uh, superheated steam is mixed with the hydrocarbon and fed through the heated coils of pyrolysis furnace. Uh, the carbon two and four fit is pyrolyzed in the separate furnace because different residence time and temperature condition are required. And the effluents drawn off from the furnace are then cooled faster in the quench boiler to the temperature of 190 to 200 degrees Celsius to stop the undesirable reaction uh, that prevent the formation of coke. Then the pyrolysis product, which is like the alkenes including ethylene, propylene, and butadiene, are spread. So ethylene is uh, synthesized by steam breaking. However, uh, propylene is mainly a uh, byproduct. So propylene is synthesized by other methods uh, such as propane dye. Dehydrogenation. Uh, moving on to the reaction mechanism of steam cracker. The cracking re reaction are uh, principally bond breaking and substantial amount of energy is needed to drive the reaction toward uh, olefin, which is uh, ethylene and propylene production. So cracking can be visualized as a free radical dehydrogenation reaction where hydrogen is a co-product. A hydrocarbon mixture is heat in the metal tube inside a furnace in the presence of steam to temperature at which hydrocarbon molecules thermally decompose and this endothermic reaction have a residence time of less than one second. Uh, as we can see uh, on the diagram 3, this is the chemical reaction of the process. So this is an example of steam tractor complex in Malaysia, uh, which is soil engineering corp. So as we can see that the production of propylene is less than the ethylene. This is because like I said, uh, ethylene is synthesized by the steam tractor. So uh, propylene is just a byproduct of it. I'm Nandi and I'm presenting the MCO slash CCO process, which is known as the methanol or cold olefins process used for the production of ethylene and propylene. Next, we have the diagram here, which shows the general description process of the cold to olefins production. Next, the process description, which includes the first step, which is the classification of coal. This process consists of four main steps, which include drying, pyrolysis, oxidation, and reduction. This basically means the coal is dried and then it undergoes a thermochemical decomposition and oxidation and reduction processes, which is used for syngas production. Next, we have the syngas methanol, a process where the syn gas undergoes a catalytic uh, conversion for the production of methanol. The catalyst used is usually a typical mixture of copper, zinc oxide, alumina, and magnesium. Next, we have the MTO process, which includes um, reaction regeneration, quench fractionization, uh, gas compression, flue gas energy utilization and recovery, heat reaction, and heat regeneration. This diagram is the MTO process by Honeywell Corporation. 
the, me uh, the mechanism is that the uh, process synthesizes all the things from methanol using a separated four types of like catalyst in a few uh bed reactor. The process is divided into three main parts and um, in the reactor, the methanol is converted to a dimethyl ether intermediate and then converted to all the things with a very high selectivity for ethylene and propylene. Uh, other MTO technology include the DMTO, which is by the Dalian Institute of Chemical Physics, Chinese Academy of Sciences, DICP, and the SMCO, which is Sinopex technology. Examples of the plants um, that have such technology are the Sin Energy Technology and the Shanghua and China Coal Group. Okay, now for the production of propylene from the fluid schematic diagram. So this is the schematic diagram of uh, fluid catalytic cracking. Okay, for the process description, description, so fluid catalytic cracking units are secondary component preparation within more complex refineries and it is used to produce additional gasoline primarily from the gas oils produced in the atmospheric and vacuum distillation units. It is uh, increasingly important because due to the supply demand of the propylene and it uses catalysts and heat to break the long chain hydrocarbons into smaller chain hydrocarbons. The feedstock FCC is usually a portion of the fluid oil that has been initial boiling in front of a uh, 340 degrees Celsius and it has a uh, higher atmospheric weather and the average molecular, range, molecular weight ranging around 200 to 600. So it is used aluminum silicate zeolite that SM5 catalyst will be used in this FCC. Okay, now for the reaction mechanism. So the fluid catalytic cracking process breaks large hydrocarbons by their conversion to carbocations. So the figure, this figure shows the, the simplified chemistry diagram that exemplifies how the process breaks high boiling and straight alkane chain into the branch alkanes as a solution. Cessation of the carbon to carbon bond method is used in this case. Okay, now for the examples of refinery that has FCC units. So, here are the two examples. Example first one is the example of Exxon Mobil Torrent Refinery, California. Second one is the Chiba Art Refinery, Japan. Okay, now for the comparison of uh, several processes. Okay, there are four processes MTO, dehydrogenation, steam cracker, and FCC. So dehydrogenation and steam cracker, from the table we can know that dehydrogenation and steam cracker use high temperature which is around, for dehydrogenation is around 500 and for steam cracker is around 800 while FCC only use the lowest temperature which is around the 340 degrees Celsius and uh, MTO dehydrogenation processes produces more byproducts and side products and from the table we also can know that the steam cracker is the only reaction, only process that is a uh, non-catalytic process while uh, FCC used Aluminum silicate zeolite catalyst due to its high thermal uh, stability. And for dehydrogenation, it involves catalyst in both dehydrogenation and metathesis reaction. And also in the MTO, which is in the, from the gasification of the coal. 